Every morning in the wild, a gazelle awakens. One thing is for sure for the gazelle that day, as every other. She must run faster than the fastest lion. If she cannot, she will be killed and eaten. Every morning, a lion awakens. For the lion too, one thing is certain. This day and every day, he must run faster than the slowest gazelle. Whether fate names you a gazelle or a lion is of no consequence. It is enough to know that with the rising of the sun, you must run, and you must run faster than the day before for the rest of your days, or you will die. We all have to run. Run the race of life. desert. Life out here is tough. Animals who live in these places have evolved to survive extreme temperatures, exposed conditions, and very little water. The survivors are well armed and well hidden. Some attack with lethal speed, many are deadly toxic. The small amounts of food and water in the desert make the race of life here extremely competitive. Every day is literally a fight for life. Their senses are highly tuned. Their bodies are well protected. Their behavior can be bizarre. Sharp in claw and tooth, covered in armor. These are the creatures who will win the desert race of life. Planet Earth is a blue jewel in space. It is the only planet we know with water on the surface. This water has been here for four and a half billion years. It covers over two thirds of our world. Life began in the sea, from tiny single cells to primitive fish and crustaceans. And then about five million years ago, it crawled out onto the land nothing can survive without water. But there are places where it hardly ever rains, where clouds evaporate in the heat of the sun. Deserts. The challenge is not just the lack of water. Our hot deserts can be a searing 50 degrees. Our cold deserts an icy minus 20. It's difficult to believe there's any life in such harsh conditions, but there is. A second look at the cracked earth and the burning dunes will reveal some of the toughest creatures on earth. Animals who live in the desert are supreme survivors. Perfect desert design lives in every hot desert in the world, from stony plains to arid mountains. They survive in every continent except Antarctica, from the sand dunes of the Sahara to the rocks and cacti of the Americas. And they've been doing it for a very long time. Scorpions.
one of the most ancient creatures on Earth. They've existed since life first crawled out of the sea. It's not hard to see why. They have lethal weapons at both ends, and their bodies are well armored against predators and the desert heat. All scorpions have pincers at the front and a poisonous sting at the end of their tail. There are nearly 2,000 different species, ranging in size from 9 millimeters to a terrifying 21 centimeters. The scorpion's first trick for surviving the desert is to avoid the heat of the day. They stay safe under rocks and in holes in the sand. As the sun goes down, this primeval hunter comes out. Darkness also provides protection from predators and a feast of nocturnal animals. Scorpions have six to 12 eyes, but they don't hunt by sight. They hunt by running, by ambush, and with tiny sensitive hairs. The moment this moth touches one of these, the scorpion strikes and grabs it with her pincers. The tail swings into action and injects the prey with venom. The moth is paralyzed and can be eaten at the scorpion's leisure. Scorpions eat any small creature they can catch, even lizards and mice. Their sting contains two venom sacs and a barbed needle. Even their mouths have claw-like structures to break up food ready for digestion. Making new scorpions is a risky business. Males and females get together very carefully. This male has deposited sperm on the ground. He's trying to maneuver the female over the spot without getting stung. Then he backs off quickly to avoid being eaten. It's a lonely life being a scorpion but it's one that has lasted over 420 million years in the race of life. The American Southwest, home to three deserts, the Sonoran, the Chihuahuan, and the Mojave and famous for cowboys, canyons, and rattlesnakes. The supreme desert survivors. They have thick overlapping scales and a sharp sense of smell. Everyone living out here is on alert for one sound. Rattlesnakes can be two meters long. They're fast, tough, and deadly venomous. They're one of the top 10 most dangerous snakes in the world. Each fang is connected to a large poison gland behind the jaw. When a rattlesnake bites, 
the poison glands contract, squeezing venom into the fangs. A banner-tailed kangaroo rat is in the snake's sights. The race of life is on for prey and predator. But the rat has a good chance of winning today. He also has excellent desert survival techniques. If it gets close enough, the snake will smell the rat with its tongue, but it's confused. The rat freezes. The snake can't sense it. The snake moves in. The rat freezes. The snake has lost it again. Then a startling display. The rat seizes the chance to get away. The rattlesnake is still trying to find the rat. But it must go hungry. Finally, the snake has won the duel of the race of life today. Rattlesnakes usually hunt by ambush. The prey is swallowed whole. The snake's strong gastric juices can digest everything, even bones. In the desert, not a scrap of food is wasted. But these powerful snakes have an unlikely enemy, a fast-moving animal, a bird, who can turn predator into prey. The Roadrunner. Roadrunners are small, high-speed hunters, and they love to eat rattlesnakes. They can only catch juveniles. So for the rattlesnake, reaching adulthood is the hardest stage in the race of life. Out under the burning sun, not many creatures can live for long. You need to be well equipped to cope with the heat and the dry. The Gila monster. This is a lizard unlike any other. Healers also live in the sun-baked deserts of the American Southwest. Their bright markings are a warning. Because the Gila has jaws like a bulldog, and it's one of only two lizards in the world with a venomous bite. Gila monsters live around pools of water. They're hunters with very sensitive noses. Healers can smell food from far away. They are not fast movers, but like marathon runners, they have high levels of endurance. This one has located a possible meal. An 
adult banner-tailed kangaroo rat is too fast for her. She's not concerned. Her senses tell her there's food waiting underground. Her sharp claws will help her dig through the hard earth to reach her prey. The newborn rats are defenseless. The Gila bite kills them quickly. Her venom is in her saliva, so it flows down her teeth into her prey. The lizard has found a nutritious meal in the emptiness of the desert. She will live to hunt another day. Gila monsters can grow to 60 centimeters and weigh two and a half kilos. And they're well armored. Each scale is supported by a piece of bone, which is a good thing. Healers play hard. Male-to-male -male combat is very dangerous when your opponent has a venomous bite. Only the strongest male will win the right to mate with a female. And this is another story of the race of life. As the day heats up, the last pools of water evaporate. This is dangerous for the Gila monster. She must retain all the body moisture she can. She must get out of the sun if she's going to survive the race of life. The deserts of the world are home to many lizards, each adapted to survive in a different way. The frill-necked lizard has two startling tricks to escape predators. He can run on two legs, great for speed and for looking out for danger. When threatened, the frill pops up, so the lizard looks many times bigger. Thorny devils are also good at looking difficult to eat. And if you don't have frills or spikes when danger approaches, try a disappearing act. That was a zebra-tailed lizard. Iguanas have developed incredible eyesight. They can see detail from far away. And they have a third eye on top of their head for sensing light and shapes. The desert looks empty, but millions of creatures live just out of sight. Ants. The most successful survivors are the smallest out here. Ants live underground, away from the heat. They lay trails of scent to guide their companions home or to a food source. And they fetch their food in teams. But ants are always running the race of life. They're on the menu for animals who have lightning speed and a sticky tongue. And a bizarre Australian lizard. The thorny devil. 
These well-armored lizards need to eat thousands of ants a day to survive. Thorny devils are sit-and-wait predators. They find a good spot near an insect trail and wait for their prey to pass right in front of them. There will always be a feast in the desert if you are good at catching ants and other insects. Horned lizards also eat wasps, grasshoppers and beetles. They're camouflaged, they're fast and they swallow their food whole. In the desert, lizards are skillful runners in the race of life. The Sahara, the largest hot desert in the world. You have to be especially tough to make it out here. Or especially clever, almost nothing grows on these endless seas of sand. This is a unique desert survivor, the dung beetle. Dung beetles are a kind of scarab. Dung beetles are coprophagous. They eat the excrement of other organisms. It sounds unappealing, but these creatures are the great heroes of the desert. Not only are they survivors, but they transform the desert into a place where other creatures can live. They get everything they need from collecting animal dung. Food, a nest, even water. It's incredible the creature can survive in a place so harsh. One ancient group of people had immense respect for this little beetle, the Egyptians. Just as the dung beetle carries a ball of dung, the ancient scarab god rolled the sun across the sky. Dung beetles are incredibly strong. One beetle can roll a ball 20 times its weight. That's like a human rolling a ball the size of a small car. They defiantly push their dung in a straight line, whatever the obstacle. and they have the endurance of a marathon runner. They know they have to hurry with the gathering because there's a lot of hungry beetles around the fresh dung. The males are also very tolerant partners. It's their duty to collect these enormous quantities of dung. And the females often hitch a ride. And best of all, these bizarre beetles are the gardeners of the desert. By burying the dung, they are digging in a ball of fertilizer that's full of plant seeds. They are helping new life grow in these barren places. But dung beetles can also be thieves. They need to keep a constant eye out for other beetles who will steal their precious ball of dung. 
Among all this dirt, dung beetles have one beautiful ability. They use the Milky Way to navigate, very sophisticated for this little winner of the race of life. Scorpions have been around for millions of years. They use the rattle to warn potential aggressors to back off or to distract prey, the rattlesnake. One of the few poisonous lizards in the world, the Gila monster. Most of them are able to move quickly or they have strange shapes and unusual habits. These are the lizards. Is there anything cooler than a dung beetle pushing a dung ball? These creatures are real survivors in the race of life.